Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to add an employment contract to be signed through our automated employee onboarding inside the CanU platform. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm logged into the CanU platform. I'm on the dashboard. First thing we need to do if we wanna set up our e-signature templates is come to our e-sign menu and go to templates. I don't have any templates set up, so I'm gonna click new. And what we're going to do here is we're going to upload a PDF which has gaps inside this document where we need to either put employee information or business information and get some signatures. So we're gonna configure where all that data comes from and then we're going to add this template inside our workflow so we can get it signed every time a new employee starts. So first thing I need to do is upload a template. Okay, so I've uploaded the template. Let's give it a name, employment contract okay so I'm just going to preview this so this is a really basic employment contract it's not sufficient for real use case I'm just using it in this example to show you how the app works so ensure that you've got a valid employment contract when you're doing this step so we can see here I've got some gaps in this contract where we're going to put a business name an employee name their position type their salary, and then we're gonna get the business owner and the employee to sign it. So the way, the way we do that is we come down to this section and we've got this concept of signers. So it defaults to have one signer for an employee. I'm going to add a second signer. We're gonna make this one the business manager. In this case, we can actually do ordered signing. So what this means is we're going to actually specify who we want to sign first and who we want to sign second. In this case, I want the business manager to go first. So I'm gonna drag that up to the top and make them first. The next thing we have to configure is who it's assigned to. So we don't want subject. I'll explain what that is in a moment. But what we actually want is the admins. So what we're saying here is Anyone who is an administrator for this business will have the ability to sign this document. So you can tailor this, you can add specific people if you like, but in this example, I'm just gonna let admins sign this document. Second thing we need to do is specify the employee and we've done that already with the subject. So subject is the person who is going to receive the workflow and I'll put this document into the workflow later and show a little bit more how that works but just think of this as the person who will receive this document, which in this case is the employee. Next, we have to edit the fields. So let's go edit fields. Down the left-hand side, we've got all the options to populate our document. The most common thing that this gets used for is signatures, obviously. So let's drag that one in first. We're gonna add our signature here and the name of the person who is signing. We can see here at the top, there's a date. Now we can see here, this letter is to certify that. This field here needs to be the employee's name. So the way we fill that in is we swap up here to our employee and we can drag their name in. So let's say that goes in there. Certify that employee name is an employee at, that's going to be the business name. So let's go back to business manager because we want them to complete this. Let's put text. So we're going to get the business manager to complete this with text and is working as a full-time chef. So I'm gonna also put text here so that that can be filled in. And I'm also gonna put another text field here for the gross salary. Now let's swap back to the employee because we need them to sign here. And we want their name here. Lovely, so our employment contract has been set up. The green boxes are for the business to complete and the blue boxes are the employees. So employee name, name and signature, the business will complete the business name, their role and the salary. Let's save it. And let's create this template. Okay, so we've got an employment contract template. Now what we need to do is add it into one of our workflows so that every time a new employee starts, this template automatically gets triggered to be completed. So let's go to our workflows menu. 
We've got our casual employee onboarding, which I'm going to add it to. So I can click view. I'm going to click add task. I'm going to choose my e-sign template. I'm going to choose it from the list, employment contract. I'm going to click add. And then I'm going to drag it up because I want this step completed before we sync to zero and click save. Great. So now we're ready to go. When the new employee starts, this contract will be part of the onboarding process. Let's trigger it off now just to see what it looks like when we do that. If we go to the users menu, I'm going to assign it to Michael Scott. I'm going to click assign and I'm going to assign the casual employee onboarding. Great. So now if I click into this, if I look at the employment contract, I can fill and sign this. So if I click fill and sign, we can see here the fields that need to be completed. So I'm going to fill this in. Is an employee at Popper's Pizza and is working as a full-time chef. Gross salary of 120k. We need to sign. So if I click sign, I can put my name in, click insert. It inserts a digital signature. I click finish signing finish and job done. Now there's obviously other steps in the workflow that need to be done and the employee will receive an email to complete these tasks. But from the business side, we have done ours and we can see here that I have signed it. The history shows that it's been sent to the employee. So when they complete it all, we will get a message and we can check in here to see the status of all the completion for the employee. So that's how eSign templates work. There's a lot more to it and we've got more information inside the support documentation of CanU. So check that out if you wanna try it out. If you're interested in learning more about improving your automated employee onboarding, check out some of our other videos on the CanU channel. And we'll see you next time.